Hi everyone and welcome to my Fast Friday intermittent fasting patch up. So this is just an unedited quick video recap on my past week with intermittent fasting. So if you're new to the channel, I'm doing intermittent fasting and I'm going to recap how it's going for me weekly. I've got, I'm gonna do this for about another six weeks or so. So let's just get started with how the last week's been. So overall on this diet, I've lost one kilo or roughly two pounds, but sadly this week, no weight loss, no change at all. Um, I'm not discouraged at all from that. I mean, of course I'm a little bit disappointed, but not discouraged. So it's been a little bit of a funny week. Uh, we've all been sick and sleep has been terrible. I think I've been averaging about four or five hours a night, sometimes less, with Jed's sleep being disrupted and I've just had a really bad week with that. So sleep, of course, interrupts with all sorts of metabolic functions and I just don't think that that can be helping anything. And the other thing is that the Easter Bunny came last week and was very generous, so uh, definitely have been hitting up the chocolate. <laughs> isn't that right um, as far as the actual following the diet goes what I'm doing you can go back and have a look at um, the, the playlist but I'm doing Monday Wednesday Friday uh, 16 8 which is stopping eating by 8 and starting at around noon I it's fine what I've been finding though is I need to be more mindful of uh, when I cut off eating the night before as I said with the Easter bunny coming I have been a, a little bit naughty with that um, and I have been finding a couple of times I've sort of had to move the fasting day to the next day if I like haven't done it properly and that kind of has thrown me off so this week I'm really going to work on sticking to the actual plan because I think I'll find it's easier to do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, then have to make up a day and then do, for example, Monday, Thursday, Friday. It's just easier when you have that break in between, I'm finding. So I am still getting quite hungry and it is a challenge on the days. The hunger comes in waves though, like you'll be really intensely hungry and then you'll just get over it. Being busy with Jed is definitely helping me to stay on track though and having this platform to keep me accountable is also helping me. I feel as though if I didn't have this to go back and sort of keep me accountable then I'd be finding it hard to stick to it. Um, so I guess if you're trying this it's really good to maybe have a buddy I would think to to try and um, keep each other on track so I was I mentioned in a different video I was going to talk a little bit about how it actually works and I was doing some more reading this week and I'm definitely convinced there's a lot of evidence um, behind it and fasting has been something that's been practiced throughout history in many different cultures so as a sort of not necessarily weight loss but more of a cleansing and interestingly even though I haven't lost any weight this week I do feel a more cleansed I feel healthier and I feel more on top of my eating habits even though I've been having treat chocolate at night I feel less erratic um, I can be someone who get stuck in ruts of like emotional eating or a bit of over binge eating junk or whatever and I just haven't had that issue this week in spite of the Easter eggs I just feel like more in control and I'm definitely not gorging on food between the eating window of midday and eight o'clock I just find that I'm picking up a normal eating pattern as if it was lunchtime I'm not really eating more um, so weight loss or not, I definitely feel like, um, I'm liking this. The other thing, so how it actually works is it's, it's very 
basic really so when you're not so when you eat food your body uses that food as the fuel source to run power your body in when you're not eating food your body has to tap into its reserves of stored energy and I guess that means uh, converting fat to energy I'm sure that there's a lot more complicated processes in the mix there but that's, that's the premise and that makes sense to me and the other major benefit is that when your body's not um, uh, preoccupied I guess with digestion and all of that it switches on other uh, work in the body like one of the things I read about is that your brain clears out old cells that aren't being used or something and so intermittent fasting has been linked to more clarity and things like that so I'm all for keeping on going and you know I do need to I have been eating a bit more healthfully um, I'm really trying to up my nutrition especially since the reason I'm doing this is mainly because going into oh you dropped it okay going into a second uh, pregnancy like we're going to be trying this year I here you go darling I want to be starting at a lower body weight because I know that it will be more comfortable for me um where was I going sorry I lost my train of thought nope lost it um Okay, so I really can't remember what I was saying. Da, 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 da. Nah, lost it. Okay, well, anyway, I might just wrap it up there. So we're getting to, um, we're getting to the seven minute mark. I wanted to keep these under 10. So thank you for, what was I saying? Oh, you know when you try to think of something and you forget, that's gonna bug me now. Um, no it's gone anyway thank you so much for watching hopefully this week i can oh yeah that's right i've been more eating more healthfully because we are um getting towards the point of this year trying for a second child so i am working on increasing the nutrition um which is what i did for jen obviously because you want to make a the healthiest baby possible um and so that's something I've been doing which I'm sure has been helping me feel better. The other thing I definitely need to start working on which I talked about in a different video is I need to exercise. I just feel like my body is very saggy and floppy after pregnancy and you know even before let's be honest but even more so now and even if I do lose weight I know that it's still going to feel like not great so i do need to find time in my routine in my daily schedule to do that and i'm not sure where i'm going to do that uh but that's on the list anyway rambling a bit now so thank you for watching thank you for following this along with me um let's just hope for uh some more results next week i should i might actually take my measurements so that if there's no um result on the scale that i can at least refer to body measurements which are more reliable anyway okay i will talk to you guys later thanks bye say bye jenny bye bye <laughs> awkward moment when you can't find the end button <laughs> oh bye Jenny